Alrighty, so today I'm going to be making some fried Oreos. So the ingredients for that is a cup of flour, I've got two tablespoons of sugar and a quarter teaspoon of salt, I've got a half a teaspoon of baking powder, I'm going to use two teaspoons of vanilla, and then I also have an egg and a between three quarters and one cup of milk depending on um, the consistency of the batter. And let's see, I'll go ahead and put in the salt and sugar and baking powder. I'll also put in the vanilla. And I just turned my oil on. I've got some frying oil, um, vegetable oil, about an inch and a half of it in a saucepan. And I want it to come up to temperature until it's between 360 and 370. You want it a little hotter than normal to make sure that it gets a golden brown crust and also uh, that it makes sure that it cooks the batter all the way through that's going to surround the Oreos. So I've got my two teaspoons there. I'm going to start just mixing these up first. Beaten up good enough. I'm gonna go ahead and put all my flour in. I'm going to add a little bit of milk. I've got a cup here, so I might need the whole thing, or I might need around three quarters. I'm just going to add it in gradually, and then see exactly what I need for the consistency. You want it to be um, about the consistency of pancake batter, or just a little looser than that but you don't want it to be super, super liquidy. You just, you definitely just don't want it to be super thick because then the batter won't cook all the way through. Because these are only gonna cook for about a minute on each side of the Oreo. You can do this with a fork or a whisk. You just want to make sure you get most of the flour lumps out and make sure it's pretty smooth. So right now, it's a little thicker than pancake batter, so I'm going to add some more milk. I may end up using the whole cup. This is a little bit more than three quarters right here.
That looks pretty good, so I'm going to go ahead and use this. It is, might be kind of hard to tell, but it's about like that. It's not super, super liquidy, but it is not thick at all. It's about the consistency of pancake batter. So what you want to do is let this sit for about 10 minutes just so it kind of sets up and thickens up a little bit. And then I'll be ready to dip my Oreos in them. And then once my oil's up to, uh, up to temperature, I'll put them in there. And they're going to cook for a minute on each side. And I will show you guys what that looks like in a minute. All right, so my oil's up to 360. Got my Oreos. Got the batter. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a couple of Oreos in the batter. Flip them and make sure that they are just coated on each side. And then I'm going to go ahead and drop them in the fryer. Like I said, they should go for just a minute on each side. So in about 35 seconds, I'm going to flip them. And I'm excited to try these because I've never had fried Oreos and I've never made them before. So. Pretty excited about it. I've heard they're really good. I've heard they get um, really soft and warm on the inside. So it's just kind of, it all melts into one. It's not a crunchy cookie anymore, so. All right. Flip them. They look good. And this batter that I'm using, it's a pretty standard um, batter that they make funnel cakes and elephant ears out of. So it's it's just the same recipe, pretty much the same consistency, except for your coating an Oreo in it instead of pouring it with a pourer and making a funnel cake or an elephant ear. So about 25 more seconds. They smell good. Right. And this is what they end up looking like. They're golden brown. So I'm going to do a few more of these and then I will try them and let you guys know what I think. So I finished the fried Oreos, and this is what they look like. I sprinkled them with a little bit of powdered sugar. They're just a golden brown color. So let's see what they look like. I've never had one of these. Let's see how they do. Ah, they do get soft on the inside. That's what the inside looks like. It's a kind of a light batter and the cookie got really soft. Let's give it a try. Those are good. <laughs> Never had fried Oreos. Those are really good. The cookie gets really soft and warm, the cream gets nice and soft, and the uh, the coating of the batter 
is really delicious. Like I said, it's, uh, it's pretty much a funnel cake batter. So imagine that with a nice warm, soft Oreo and topping it with the powdered sugar was a good move too. It's, it's really good. I'm gonna have to put it down, but, uh, yeah, they're really good. So if you like fried Oreos or anything like fried funnel cake or any, I'm, you'll probably like these. Like I said, it's important to cook it at a bit of a higher temperature, like 360, 370 for about a minute on each side to make sure that the batter cooks all the way through. And other than that, it's really simple um, and they taste really, really good. So if the quarantine continues and we can't get out to the fair or anything like that, this is a nice, easy fair food to make on your own. And they're really, really freaking good. So might have to make another fair food. I'm thinking maybe kebabs to go with this video. So, all right, well, if you guys make it or if anybody out there is watching and you make it, hope you enjoy.